Hey Britt, hey. does size matter? If we're talking Costa Woman's sunglasses, it does. Get your mind out of the rudder. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steph and Britt here from SporterX and we're here to break down the Costa Women's Sunglasses Size Guide. Now, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and uh, give us a follow on Instagram if you want to see more of these frames, but on the gram. So, at SporterX. At SporterX. <laughs> Before we get into it, just so you guys know, this is the updated size guide for 2019, 2020. So if there's a frame in here that you love and it's not included, we do have another video, Coastal Women's Size Guide, um, that we'll link to below. So check that out if there's others that you wanna see. All right, but we'll get right into it. So we're gonna go from smallest to largest and just kind of break down the different uh, models across different sizes. So to begin with, this is the <laughs> big. <laughs> a little baby. Manta. So this is for a tiny, teeny, tiny fit. And I probably have about a medium size fit. So this right. is teeny. <laughs> <laughs> it might even fit uh, a young, a younger girl. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Brit's about a medium <laughs> size face. I'm about a large face. Um, I generally like larger fit. So that's for a tiny, tiny. Um, this one is called the Chica, appropriately named. Super cute. Ch Check out the chicas. <laughs> <laughs> I like what I like about that one is it has that rubberized temple and nose grip, so that you can kind of do a crossover mm -hmm. fashion function, um, do some active things in it, but still look super lifestyle and laid back. So, good choice there for small fit. And then we have the Isla. Now this is kind of moving into small medium. So Brit's a medium fit. Um, this looks really good on her. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> So the automatic smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks good, Brit. Okay, moving on, we have the, I have a hard time with this one, um, Sarasota. Sarasota? <laughs> Sarasota. <laughs> Cardi Asada. No, Sarasota frame. Um, this one is this really cool crystal color and you can see the metal temple inside, which is kind of nice. And it also has the Costa made of pearl. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah. Good one. All right, and then moving on, we have the um, this awesome kind of classic looking frame. Got that keyhole bridge, and it's called the, the Del Mar. Del Mar from the Del Mar collection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and put that one on. I really like these ones too. It's a very good, like, simple everyday look. Yeah, it's not screaming "look at me," but it's also you know you're still it's looking cute. hip and stylish. Yeah, yeah. It has all that coast of technology in it. That 580. Woo woo. And then we've got the Water Woman. This one's a brand new one. Ooh. What are those? <laughs> the Water Woman. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's kind of getting, as you can see, it's getting a little bit larger. Um, I would say, Britt being a medium, it could probably fit me well as, as well. I'll go ahead and try it on too so they could see what it looks like on a larger face. So I tend to like my frames a little bit larger. Um, this might be borderline for me, but it still works if that's what you're into. So this one has also got that good um, thick temple. So if you want to take it out on the water, you get that protection on the side as well. And again, it has that uh, rubberized temple and nose tips. So you can do some active things in the Water Woman. Here we have the this aviator um, metal frame and it is called the... The Hilo. Hilo, oh, Hilo, there you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's called the Hilo. And it's an aviator kind of half ram frame. So the lenses itself, is a, it's a little small for my taste, but the temples, they fit kind of loose and they're a little bit, um, I think springy. So it could fit likely a variety of head shapes, but it just depends on kind of how large you like the lenses up front. You wanna try that on, Brit? Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of when we're getting more into the larger fits. So this is kind of, could be medium, could yeah. be large, just depending on personal preference. Yep. And this is the Coquita. <laughs> uh, now we're getting into the larger fit. This is kind of like an, a cat eye angle here and it's squared off at the bottom. I really like this cool torque color. I'm gonna try that on just because we're getting into the larger frames. But again, it's gonna fit on a face like Brit, who's a medium. Yeah. yeah looks, looks like good. a perfect fit. I can like feel it pretty well. Yeah. And you get lots of coverage up front here. Yeah. Looks good. 
And then this guy right here is the May. May I? <laughs> you may. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This one has a little bit of a thinner temple. It has a similar silhouette, um, and it also comes in this really cool tort-like color. And they all come in a variety of colors. Um, this guy, yeah, these are both sort of more lifestyle. Also, because a lot of these frames, like the May are acetate, the frame might seem like it's a little bigger, but you can morph it with heat. Yeah. Um, so when they're kind of more looking at the frame itself. If you bring them to your optician, they could heat it up and adjust the frame for you, being an acetate frame. Mm -hmm. So if you need uh, that sizing, they can custom it, customize it. And then this is the Bimini, which is a really cool name. Um, <laughs> similarly, it's acetate and it has that cool tour color. Again, they come in a variety of colors. You can see them on sporterx.com. But this guy's got this really cool kind of rounded silhouette with the cat eye corners. That one looks good on you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Bimini? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. I think that's a good crossover frame between medium and large. You can, yeah, it's versatile. Covers. And this guy is really cool. It's got this tri kind of layered um, coloring. Cool color on the inside, uh, this tort color on the outside, and then in the middle, it, remi it reminds me of ice cream. <laughs> it's pistachio ice cream. Um, it's really cool. Um, this one is called the Panga. Topanga. Topanga. We always think of Topanga from Boy Meets World. Corey Matthews is gonna <laughs> like that one. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. And then, before we get into that, I'll just go ahead oh, yeah, and try them on. Yeah. Just give the people what they want. Just show you on a larger face. Topanga. Topanga. Bring it back. <laughs> and now we're going to get into the aviator styles. This is called the South Point, and it's a classic aviator, but with a wrap kind of to it. So if you want something that's kind of lifestyle-y, but is going to give you a little bit of wrap coverage, the South Point's a great option. There's also a smaller version of this kind of aviator-esque type wrappy frame called the Loretto. So if you have a smaller fit, there's an option for you. The wrap is real. Yeah, the wrap is real. I could probably, not that I run, but if I wanted to run, I could <laughs> run in these. Yeah, you totally could, yeah. Good one. And then finally, this is the Costa Cook. Being a larger fit, this is my personal favorite. And it could fit both men and women, but adjustable nose pads and just big kind of aviator lenses, comes in a variety of colors mirror lenses, which I have a blue mirror and a green mirror. Yeah, that's your go-to. Love it. My go-to, they really are, they're my everydays. Yeah, you wanna try them on? Yeah, I could see why these are your everydays. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> can you see why? I see can see. And go see what's out there. So that's our updated women's style uh, size guide for 2019, 2020. If you wanna check out the other size guide, don't forget that's gonna be in the link below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Woohoo! Bye. Bye guys.